My name is Jean Ben Friesen. I'm a professor in civil and environmental engineering at Carnegie Mellon, and I'm the director of our Center for Water Quality in Urban Environmental Systems, or WaterQuest. The water energy nexus, which is a new hot term at lots of different levels in the nation in discussing this, is really not a new concept. Water's always been necessary for energy generation and for energy um, extraction. And then the newest area where water interacts with energy is in things like shale gas development which has been um, actively discussed quite a bit over the past two years, the need for water in what's called hydraulic fracturing. The hydraulic, that tells you it's water, and fracturing, we're trying to break apart the shale so that the gas is easier to release. So when you do that, you use a lot of water, and then you produce a lot of wastewater. And much of my research has been on the end of, what's that water like that comes back up? And it comes up really, really salty, saltier than the ocean by like 10 times. So what do you do with really, really salty water? So when you are extracting energy and producing these wastewaters, you have to think sort of three steps ahead. That's really hard for us. Even as engineers, it's hard for us to think three steps ahead. What will happen to this water, not when it gets in the river, but when it gets in the drinking water plant and when it gets in the people? Um, and so that's a lot of the work we do at that systems level saying, what if? And what's the next downstream effect of the energy choices we're making? We've seen a big trend over the last century of people transitioning from living on farms to living in cities. That process is not unique to the United States. That's affecting the entire globe. And countries that have um, large and increasing populations are also becoming increasingly urban. So we've seen the development of what are called megacities, cities with more than a million people. And when you look at megacities, the infrastructure challenges are just totally different. There is a lot of water individual people need, and there's a lot of wastewater individual people produce. And the same with energy. Getting the energy resources into a city like New York City is really challenging. No city is ever, with its boundaries, sustainable. A city can't feed itself, it can't produce its own energy, it can't produce its own water. It's always importing resources and exporting waste. And managing that at the level of the number of megacities we're going to have on the globe as we approach 2100 is really challenging. And so the urban um, work we're doing here and a number of other urban institutes at Carnegie Mellon are focused on this really big question of what's the world going to look like when most of the population of 9 billion people are living in these large, dense urban environments. And so the urban water work is informed by what we do in Pittsburgh, but has applications in lots of other cities.